in this video, I'm going to show you how to record warranty expense using the expected cash flow approach. Traditional approaches to estimating warranty expense ignore the time value of money. For example, a company might accrue warranty expense as a percentage of sales. So if the company did $100 million in sales during the period, and they said that historically warranty costs had been about 3% of their sales, the company would just debit warranty expense for $3 million and credit warranty liability for $3 million. But this makes no consideration for the time value of money. What if we're talking about a five-year warranty here? In that case, the company's going to incur warranty costs in years one, two, three, four, and five of the warranty. So those costs are incurring in the future, but you're not discounting them back to their present value. Okay, so that's what we're going to do with the expected cash flow approach. We are going to take into consideration the time value of money. So if the warranty obligation extends beyond one year, like a three-year warranty, a five-year warranty, whatever, okay, if it extends beyond one year, and you can estimate probabilities for the different cash flow outcomes, you can use the expected cash flow approach that I'm about to show you. So let's jump into an example. Let's say there's a company called Smart Products. They're launching a new product, which is a desk vacuum that cleans up cat hair. So if you work from home and you have a number of cats, you know the problem that I'm talking about. So the product comes with a three-year warranty against defects. Now, the company is going to begin selling the product in December of 2024, but their fiscal year ends on December 31st, 2024. So they're going to need to make an adjusting journal entry to accrue warranty expense for the year ended December 31st, 2024. Okay, so I basically have them begin selling the product at the end of 2024. It's a three-year warranty, so they're going to incur costs related to the warranty as people start returning defective products in years 2025, 2026, and 2027. And so we've got here year 2025, year 2026, year 2027, and then we have various costs and then we have the probability that these costs will be incurred. So let me walk you through uh, the probability distribution so you know what I'm what I'm doing here. So in year 2025, okay, so this is the first year uh, you say sold the product in December of 2024. So we're going to say, okay, this is like the first year of the warranty 2025. The company is assuming that they're going to incur warranty costs, but they don't know how much. They're saying there's a 50% chance we'll incur 100,000 of warranty costs in 2025 related to this product. Okay. So we're going to say 100,000 times 50% equals 50,000. Now they're saying there's a 30% chance they're going to incur 120,000 of costs in 2025. So 120,000 times 30% equals 36,000. And then there's a 20% chance they're going to have 150,000 in costs. So 20% times 150,000 is 30,000. So you add these three together and that gives you 116,000. So what is this 116,000? That's the amount that the company expects to have. That's the expected value of their cash outflow for warranty costs for 2025 related to those products that they sold in December of 2024. Okay, so they sold the product at the end of 2024 and they're saying in 2025, we expect to have 116,000 in warranty costs. They don't know the exact amount. That's why we got these probabilities here. Okay, so we've got these probability weighted outcomes but this is the expected cash outflow. Now we're gonna discount that 116,000 back to the present value. I'm gonna to need to tell you a discount rate and we're gonna do that in a second, but first I wanna go through uh, 2026 and, and 2027. Okay, so we do the same thing. I've got different warranty costs that are expected, different probabilities. How would, how would I, if you're wondering, how did you come up with these numbers? I just made them up. The company would have to estimate these things. Okay, and then 2027, they just say, yeah, it's a 50-50 shot. It's either going to cost us 200 grand or 300 grand. Okay, so we come up with these different, I hope you understand how I got these numbers. Now, here's the key. For 2025, they're expecting costs would be 116,000. For 2026, 155,000. And 2027, 250,000. So now, these are the, these are the numbers that we care about. But we don't just add them together and say it's a warranty expense because we haven't taken into consideration the time value of money. So what we've done here, we calculate the probability weighted cash outflows for each year. Now we need to go and take them to their present value. So I'm going to assume a discount rate of 8%. So you see these numbers right here? These correspond to these numbers here so that we just calculated. So if you're wondering, hey, where, where did he get these cash outflow numbers? These are the things we just calculated for each year. So now, 2025, we expect we're gonna have 116,000 of cash outflow for warranty costs. 
We take the present values to take 116,000 divided by one plus the discount rate to the nth power. Okay, it's one period into the future. So it's 116,000 divided by one plus 0.08. So we had a discount rate of 8%. I just gave you that number. I'm just assuming we're using discount rate of 8%. So 116,000 divided by 1.08 to the first power is $107,407, okay? Now, cash outflow for 2026. Now we're assuming this is two years in the future. So we take 155,000 divided by one plus the discount rate to the second power, because I'm assuming there's two periods in the future now. And that's 132,888. Finally, uh, for 2027, 250,000 cash outflow. We estimated that right here. Discount it, divide it by one plus the discount rate to the third power, because there's three periods into the future. We're assuming this occur three years from now, okay? So we add these up. So again, here are our cash outflows we calculated before, but now here's the present value of each cash outflow. Now that we know the present value of each cash outflow, we add these three numbers together and that gives us this number, $438,753. Now we are ready to make our journal entry for December 31st, 2024. So that's the, we, we just sold these products. We looked into the future. We tried to predict what our warranty cost would be. Okay, we had different probabilities. We came up with the expected cash outflow for each period. Then we discounted them using a discount rate of 8% to the present value. And we debit warranty expense for $438,753, credit warranty liability for the same amount. We have now accrued warranty expense using the expected cash flow approach.